Hi, Jet Obsessed Fishing 101, and I'm here with my unboxing part two, back order stuff. There's actually still like two more things. It's pretty dumb. I can't believe how much back ordering is, but that's okay as long as I get it. And just so you know, I got a I got a damaged product. If you watched my last video, I emailed them, and within minutes they had sent me a reply saying how sorry they were, and they were sending me a free one. They, I sent them some picks. They weren't the best, but they still accepted them, and they're sending me one free of charge. Tackworks is great. For, that's why they're so great, guys. Great customer service. All the baits you love. So here's the box of little stuff. Okay, let's open this box. Uh, first off, I see 516 ounce swim jig. That was one of the things I didn't get. Also, my Bamba Cross. These are some... Mm, Bama Cross in Bama Bug. Oh, Slop Cross in Bama Bug. Sorry. It's Slop Cross Summer Crawl. I just thought I'd try these out. They're pretty cool. You already saw what they look like in the last video. Here are three more of the RC Stick Strip Bait. If you, you've heard me talk about them before, and the fact that the Mega Bass ones, you can get, these are almost, I say they're as good, if not better as Mega, than the Mega Bass 110s, Vision 110s, and you save, I mean, this, you would eat, you, would you choose to buy, get three of these, or one Mega Bass, I'd totally take the three of these, I would only get two of these baits if I had got Mega Bass, so, just a look at one in particular, really cool looking, and, um, put that back, Okay, so that is pretty much it for lures. There is a Striking Rage Blade, one of those new chatterbait type stuff, uh, also coming. And the, let me just put this off to the side. Um, and then there's still a, uh, um, anyway, <laughs> and then there's the, the broken spinnerbait. And then now my rod and reel that I ordered, Skeet Reese Victory Rod. Let's check this out. Uh -huh. I was so sick, they gave me a free reel case, so I'm going to just take this off for you guys. Of course, you want to see the reel. Hold on. There it is. Let's get Reese Victory reel. I might start doing um some uh, uh, some videos on tackle, like uh, reviews for tackle, certain pieces of equipment and stuff, more, more than just the lures. And uh, one thing you notice off, first off the bat with this thing, Huge handles. I mean, huge amount of space. I mean, I don't need that kind of space, but that's definitely helpful. Leverage on the fish. Um, perfect for deep cranking, you know, get your, get your leverage. We've got 6 to 1. I personally think, you know, I don't normally go, I normally almost all my reels are 6 2 or 6 4. Somewhere in the 6 categories because um, they, you can just, I feel like if I have to, I can slow down and I can speed up if I need to. I, I don't need a fast reel per se. Okay, let's check it out. One thing I didn't, this doesn't have a side plate, but if you push the silver button, you can crank down. This is my first reel with an internal braking system. You can see, move it around. Gotta, but anyway, one thing I did not like about this reel is if you actually, this is on, I set it for zero and this is on zero, and that is the only way you can get it to run smoothly, but it's running pretty smoothly now. It wasn't earlier. Okay, and uh, here's the rod. It's a Skeet Reese rod and reel, and a 7.2, let you focus on that there. Skeet Reese S-Curve Technology, not the Honeycomb series. And uh, it's a 7.2, if you look here, it's a 7.2 and a medium uh, fast action, a line weight 10 to 25 pound test, one, one fourth to quarter to a one ounce lures and um, the nice thing about the S curves versus the honeycombs is they're a little bit more whippy so even though this is a jig worm rod you'd think I'd use it for huge you know I really I'm not a I hate whippy rods I really don't like them you, they say people some people claim that they're more sensitive it's the opposite they just don't know what they're talking about uh, so I like this rod for that it's a little bit I like it's a stiffer rod you know despite I'm probably going to use 12 pound tests so now let's see them together. And here we go. This reel wasn't running smoothly earlier, but for some reason it is. I guess it's it's really cold right now, winter, and they've been out in the driveway for a while because we didn't see it. So, but maybe that helped it. But it's running smoothly now. And there it is together, the rod and the reel. 
This reel will probably, you know, with these huge handles, good for deep cranking and all kinds of stuff. The 7.2 rod, probably, um, uh, I'm, I'm imagining, when I'm picturing using this, I'm putting, picturing putting 12 pound fluoro, 12 to 14. Now that I'm feeling this rod in person and the reel and the length of it, I'm starting to feel, uh, maybe a little heavier line it would work, but um, probably use a, a big six inch dinger. Uh, I'll throw in this in the, I would totally do that in Florida, but I'm not in Florida, but throw a big six inch dinger on this weightless, probably throw jigs, it, um, deep cranking up 100%, yes. I mean, people, I really like to sometimes burn my crankbaits, I don't see why you would sacrifice that to have a 5 room where you're having to do it at light speed, but, and you got the huge handles, leverage, everything you want, and you got this nice, long rod. Check that out all the way up the guides. Ooh. Awesome. And um, and so I'll probably use it for that, deep cranking. And I might end up using it on some spinner baits, heavy cover spinner baiting, or, um, you know, I mean, I'm really just going to have to find out for myself. Um, but it looks like it's definitely going to, deep cranking is probably going to be the major factor and you know maybe I'll definitely throw jigs on it now I'm thinking and we'll see so uh, anyway that's it for my unboxing part two I probably with the last two products it's just two small ones so I probably won't make another video part three but um you see that's the last stuff including the rod reel the rod reel is the main thing guys so that's the that completes this pretty much this three hundred and fifty dollars not going with unboxing. <laughs> this isn't gonna be happening often. I mean this has been half a year's worth of uh, allowance saving and working and Christmas and birthday and all that good stuff. So um anyway, uh this I'm Jack and I'll catch you later on Obsessed Fishing 101.